Well, hello there. Um, I am back from my surgery. I went in Thursday morning at, I was supposed to be there at 11 o'clock, and we got there at 11, at 10.30 or so, and we waited and we waited and we waited. I didn't get into surgery until 4 o'clock. So um, Thursday was like an all-day wait. Um, I got into surgery and I got out an uh, hour and a half later, I think approximately, and I was tired. I just slept and slept and slept. Whatever anesthesia they gave me, oh, it put me out for a long time. And then the next morning I was kind of just groggy until probably, that would be Friday, until probably about noon. And then I, then I started perking up and I could actually go for walks and not feel like I was going to fall. And um, so uh, my husband was with me and he just kept me going. He kept saying, okay, it's time for another walk. Because we had to have five walks in for the day. So, um, yeah, and then I just spent most of the time just recuperating. Um, I, the, the sore that they took the stomach out of or the cut, that hurts a lot. And, um, we failed to go to the pharmacy on the way home. So, and we, the pharmacy was closed at six, so we can't get medication until tomorrow. So I took some acetaminophen. I'm hoping that'll take care of tonight at least. I don't know. I don't know what it's going to do, but, um, if it gets bad, I'll just start popping some pills, I guess. But I've been able to... They didn't even give me any extra or high or higher medicine, pain medicine at the hospital. They just let me be. And so it's not unbearable pain. It's just uncomfortable. So I will plan on then um, spending the night without the medicines. And then tomorrow we'll go get the medicines. Um, and I'm, I don't know if it's the medicines that's causing my mouth to be so dry. I know I have canker sores in my mouth that all of a sudden developed. One on my tongue in the back and then one on my lip. I don't know if that's from the whole thing or the medicines they were taking me, giving me. I have no idea. But um, it's kind of annoying to get um, canker sores after that. And you can't really drink a lot, I mean, or eat a lot to fix it. So <clears throat> anyway, um, so now I'm back home. And I have to get in my walks in the day. And then I've, I've already got 20 ounces of water and since I got home. And I had water all morning, so I think I've reached my 40, um, milli whatever it is, 40 grams or <laughs> milligrams or kilograms, whatever, on my water. Um, my husband went for a walk so I could videotape because he thinks this is stupid. But I think it's going to be helpful to somebody, and if that's the case, then I want to keep doing it. Um, I, was, I had learned so much from all of you, and I kept telling all the doctors, I said, you need to tell your patients to watch YouTube because... There are people on there who fail. There are people on there who don't fail. And you need to see them all. And so um, I told him, I said, this needs to be part of your practice. Just to tell them to go on YouTube and watch some videos of, of these people. And because uh, it really has helped a lot. Every time they come to me and I'd say, yeah, I know that. I said, I know that. I've, I heard somebody say, say that on the YouTube video. So it was almost like I was overeducated. They didn't know what to do with me because I said, yeah, I know that. Okay, now we have to do this. And... So I had it down pat because of what you guys have shown us. So um, now it's just deciding what I'm going to be able to eat in the next week. Last week I bought a whole bunch of Campbell's soup so I could eat the, the liquid from that and then some lentil soup. And then my husband said I should make some lentil soup, which I will do. And I have lentils and, and peas and that st stuff. And if I just strain off that the, the um, major part of, the, part of that peas and, and eat just the, the liquid, that should be good for me. Um, they brought me, uh, they brought me beef bullion one night, but I, the first night I was not in the mood to eat anything at all and not beef bullion. And then they kept bringing me orange jello, which to me tastes like children's aspirin. And I'm just, ugh, taste, ugh, it's gross. So I told them, just don't bring me any more, just bring me red ones. That's what I told them. So, uh, I ate, I would eat that. And then I, they brought me some carnation instant breakfast. Oh man, that vanilla stuff is disgusting. I could not eat it. So I finally said to them, this is, if you're, I'm not going to eat this unless you bring chocolate. So they brought me some chocolate this morning and I had chocolate and I downed it right away. I mean, I didn't down the whole thing, but I sipped on it and um, it settled in my tummy just fine. But boy, that vanilla stuff, ugh, I just, ugh, it's gross. So, and they, the only other stuff they had was strawberry and that's worse. I couldn't even, ugh, strawberry. I might mix the strawberry and the chocolate together one time and see if that works to make it taste better. But, um... Anyway, so I've got Jello little cups. I 
Here's one of my little cups that I made with Jello. I bought a whole bunch of these online, and I'm just going to keep my Jello in there with covers on it. And that way, that's two ounces of li or liquid right there. And then I'm eating some Slim Fast High Protein Advanced Nutrition. This has 20 grams of protein in it, but it also has vitamins in it. And it's gluten free and lactose free because I cannot drink milk. So um, milk is does not a milk does not do a body good. Let's just put it that way. I had a sister who drank milk all the time, um, up to a half a gallon a day and her bones were so brittle from drinking the milk because milk has a tendency to sap things out of your bones instead of giving you bones. <laughs> the dairy industry has paid for that. They've, they've been lying to us for years. So she was at physical therapy once and she actually had her ankle broke by the physical therapist because her, he said her bones were like Rice Krispies. And, and it, it, the only thing it could be was um, the milk that she drank on a cons consistent basis. So um, if you do a study on that, you'll find that milk is not good for your bones. It is not good. So try to avoid it if you can. And I I can't drink almond milk in this thing because it doesn't have enough protein. So I bought some soy milk. And I'm not the biggest fan of soy milk, but if I put some chocolate protein powder in it, I'm not even going to notice it. So I'm going to go with that. And, um, and then I'm just going to keep doing I mean, I was in the hospital three days. So Thursday at 4. Um, now it's like 6.30 here. Um, I'm two days out technically, so now I really only have to do another 10 days of the liquid diet. And then I have a doctor's appointment on the 19th and one on the uh, June 16th, I think it is. I didn't write it up there yet. Anyway, um, what else? I think everything went, I mean, the doctor was really pleased. He, everything went the way it was supposed to go, and he said everything was fine inside. Um, they did do a hyanal hernia repair, which is probably why I'm having trouble every time I drink anything. Um, I get that, that pain, you know, that wave of pain that comes in your trachea, I guess, because it's not, it's having trouble going through. So I'm trying to sip really small and I'm trying to, I actually used a baby ass or baby spoon. This is from my kids when they were little. So I don't take too big of a bite of jello because even that would just give me pain right here. And then it would just kind of wave away and then the next thing I... And so I think that might be the hi hiatal hernia he fixed. He was pretty sure of that too. So hopefully that will heal and once the swelling goes down it'll get better. And I just keep plugging... i just been... My whole day I've done nothing but drink, 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 drink. I do not want to end up back in the hospital with uh, dehydration. So I've got, you know, a little bit left in my bottle, just a little, uh, since I got home at 12.30, and, um, and I'll probably refill that again and hopefully finish it before I go to bed, and then I can, um, then hopefully that'll get, get things kicking in. I haven't had a bowel movement yet. They kept asking me about it, but I still hadn't. I, I was passing gas, but it was not a bowel movement, but I do feel like I need to, so I've just been kind of waiting for it to, to um, come out. So, um, you see my shoulders are so are, are sore from the food, I think, or the, the bubbles with the gas or something. Yeah, so it's getting painful. But that's just because I don't have my medicine. So anyway, I wanted to catch you up on what's going on with me. And, oops, I had to hit my thing. And um, that way you would know kind of where my journey's going. And I will try to post again in a couple days. Um, life's going to get pretty interesting on Monday. I'm supposed to have my granddaughters on Monday if I'm feeling up to it. If I'm not feeling up to it, she does have an alternate babysitter set up. And so I'm hoping that, um, I, I'm just, I'm thinking that maybe I won't do it on Monday because, um, I don't know if I'm ready for that yet. They're two pretty big girls and I have a tendency to forget that I'm not supposed to be lifting things and moving things. Like I moved furniture today and I shouldn't have done that. I don't know what's wrong with me. So, as you can see, I just got out of the shower. My hair is a mess. Uh, I hadn't taken a shower at the hospital at all. And so after our walk today, my husband took me down to the library by the river. And um, we walked just this short period, but there was parking, or there was uh, benches along there. We could stop and I could rest. And um, he's a bird watcher, so he's, he was watching birds. And I didn't even bring my camera. I was mad that I didn't because it was beautiful down there. But I wasn't sure I wanted to carry something on me right now and have it all be pressing on my chest. So I kind of left it at home and said, ah, not doing it this time. 
didn't even bring my phone. So, all right, well, this is at 10 minutes, and I will get back to you um, in a couple days when things hopefully change. It seems to be atyp or it seems to be typical to what you guys all experience, the ones that I've, w I've watched. Um, VSG Jody, Mini Me in Tennessee. Oh my goodness, I'm going to forget some people. Lauren. Um, and there's uh, so many of them. I think I've watched over 20 people and their journeys. So for me to keep up track with them, I, I just really can't remember names and stuff. So. I'm sorry if I've missed you, some of you, but um, you guys have really helped me in the pre-op process and the frustrations that I had with that. And um, I know that you helped me with dealing with what's coming up, knowing what to do and what to eat and, and that sort of thing. And um, Mama, made up Mama, um, I'm going to try to do, as soon as I get over these two weeks of liquids, because I don't want the milk and stuff, I'm going to try doing just vegan, um, going with just fruits and vegetables, nuts and grains that I can eat um, instead of, you know, animal products or animal byproducts. So I'll be looking forward to you putting out more stuff so I can get some recipes, seeing what works for you and what doesn't um, or hasn't. And I'm sorry to hear about the baby. Um, that is such a terrible thing. Uh, my sister, older sister, had 10 miscarriages and... I'll tell you, it was hard on her, every single one of them. You don't ever get used to that. So um, I'm praying for you, and I'm praying for your family. And um, I hope that you are hanging on each other and supporting each other because that's the most important thing you can do for your kids is to be a mom and a dad working at it together. And I know you will do that because I have seen that in your videos. You guys love each other, and it's wonderful. And um, so I just wanted to point that out to you. So um, I'm going to start writing things down because I never can remember what to, to say. And I don't want to miss anybody um, in the long run uh, when, I'm, when I'm giving them a shout out. So um, don't think that I'm neglecting you on purpose. All right. And we will talk to you later. All right. Have a good day. Bye.